Hi everyone, Angie here, coming on to do Marguerite Miller Weekly Collage Challenge with you guys. I've got my notebook here and let's see, we are come around so quickly, sometimes I lose track. I've got all my goodies here. Uh, let's see. We are on week 15. I will run through the prompts with you and we will get started. A postmark or cancellation, mark, text or quote, lines, encyclopedia, a piece of decorative napkin, and for a bonus, a name. Okay, postmark or cancellation. I've got, let's see here, I've got all my goodies here. Oh, I've just got a digital of a postcard. So that's going to be my postmark right there. For a text or a quote, I have a quote. Um, I used, um, I typed up on the computer a quote, tried to stay up with the modern times. Um, there's a little song, I don't know who it's by, on TikTok and so forth. It says, I am woman. I'm sure everybody's familiar with it. It says, I am woman, I am fearless, I am sexy, I'm divine. I'm unbeatable, I'm creative, honey, you can get in line. It's a really catchy tune. It's going all over TikTok and so forth. Just wanted to stay current with the time, so I thought I would use that. I really like it. It's catchy. And then that also goes in line with a name, and I'm using my name for that. Okay, and then for lines, I am using just a little piece of um, lined paper along with just a little journal card with some lines and um, geometric shapes on it and I just thought just for color also with that I just thought I'd bring that in and then encyclopedia page I had this already done and it just so happens that it works out that I do this I do this quite often I take napkins and um, Mod Podge and glue them down on um, encyclopedia page and that's what made me think that that would kind of tie in and match the color of that. And just to show you that that is napkin, as I brought in one of my napkins, okay, to show you that is actually a napkin. And I just kind of fussy tear those out and just glue them down on a page. Okay, so I'll be using that. And then there's that. And then I have so much black and white. This is black and white. This is black and white. That's black and white. That's why I grabbed this for color. So I grabbed some um, fussy cut flowers. So I thought I'd try and bring in some more color. You know me, I gotta have something vibrant and some color into the page. Um, so that's that. So let's get started. This should be fairly easy to put together. And we are getting Let's see if I can I grab another clip here too. Let's see if I can clip this or something to kind of help me out. Maybe that'll help hold my page down. I don't know, but it's probably the clips will probably get in the way at some point. But okay, there we go. Now since we're working with the encyclopedia page, I was thinking this will probably just fit right on there, and it does. So we're just gonna use that as our base. So let's just put that down first, and I did not grab my glue, so let me grab that. Okay, make sure I'm in frame, can you see that? Okay. I'll use just some glue stick. Um, let's turn that around. Okay. Oops. An encyclopedia page is usually pretty thin, so that should 
take pretty well, but I was just going to say that next. It usually kind of crinkles, but that's okay. Let me grab my... Maybe we can work some of those out. Okay. And you know me, I'm constantly turning, so I like to work right-handed. Okay, so let's just press that down. start. Okay, now what do I want to do? So this is my next largest piece. So what I was thinking is I wanted to just do a, just do a tear around this and center that in the center of my page. white space and this is just one verse of that song I thought about doing the whole the whole song but I said no that's too much too much Good enough. I thought I'd just put that right dab in the middle. Maybe we can ink around the edges there with the coordinating color. I don't have a blue, I don't think, though. Let's see. Maybe I do. I'm not sure. I do. Let's see. It is tumbled glass. Okay, so we'll use, do I have one started? Yes. I must not use this color very often because I don't remember it. <laughs> okay, so we'll use a little tumbled glass. And actually, I'm going to use my book and we're just going to go around the edges that's very pretty makes me think of a sky
and I'm just going to bring that color in just a little bit more. It's just a lot of white on that page. So just deepen that blue a little. wet glue on that because I do have some uh, Mod Podge and I don't know how well the glue stick is going to adhere to that. So we'll use the art glitter glue. Okay, very nice. All right, um, let's see. We've got our postmark, and then all this, we've got our lines, so we've got to use that. And really, that's it. I don't specifically have to use anything else. Um, let's see. I'm kind of thinking I want to do something like this. Yeah, I'm thinking I want to do something like that. that down. Okay. And then, let's see. Maybe bring a little bit more color. Actually, I wouldn't mind bringing in some more napkin. I'd like to do like a ruffle. I think a ruffle would look really nice right along the bottom. I wonder if we could do a ruffle. be a little bit thick. Let's see. Let's take only half of that. Actually, I only need half. Let's just take a smaller piece. Let's just do a little ruffle. I'm just going to scrunch it up. Okay. I 
I'm just gonna try and do a little ruffle right here. Just a little napkin ruffle. And we've got some napkin collaging going on. Very cute. Crinkle that up. Very cute. Okay. Let's put these flowers down. down here. Give that a second to hold because that's some really heavy duty um, cardstock there. Make sure that's gonna hold. Okay. Very nice. I don't think I'll use those ones, they're too big. Go ahead and use this one. Okay. These pearls. That's good enough. Okay, that can always be used for another day. Let's see. Very good. Now I just gotta find a place for this. Usually I tuck it in, but this time I will have to make a pocket on the back and tuck it in on the back. Okay, so that baby is done. Today is the 10th. All right.
right, guys, that is my Marguerite Miller collage challenge. Postmark, we've got the postmark, my text, my quote, my lines. I've got lines throughout. Encyclopedia page, a decorative napkin throughout, and name. I used my own name. Okay, if you want to follow along, use hashtag 2022 CWP15. And that is my collage for the week. I hope you like the project. Thank you so very much for following along with me today. You know what's coming. Take care. God bless. And until next time, bye-bye.